Everyone is looking forward to the second episode, but it won't be what you're expecting. Let's start with the fact that the length of the next episode will be shorter than the pilot episode, and there are a number of factors pointing to this. Let me remind you that the length of the fleshed out episode of The Amazing Digital Circus is almost 26 minutes. You may ask, why would you think that? First of all, Glitch has another show called Murder Drones whose tight episode is 27 minutes long, and when they released episode 2, one year later, it was 17 minutes long. 17 minutes. This is despite the fact that they had a whole year to spare. And from the release of the pilot of The Amazing Digital Circus, it's been only four months. And if the release will take place at the end of February, beginning of March, which for a project of this scale is extremely short, I think you will agree with me because none of the projects reached such success. For this reason, the second episode will be about 17, 20 minutes. And by the way, many people say that that it will not be the second episode but the first. I hasten to upset you because it will be the second episode as Glitch considers the pilot episode as the first episode, judging by the same murder drones. But don't be upset right away, as I'm sure that Gooseworks and Glitch will prepare something interesting as compensation. I also want to mention that the location in the next episode may change because from the pilot episode we remember that Kane showed Pomni other locations, Digital Lake and Digital Carnival. But if you suddenly think we won't change locations and stay inside the tent as well, even if we stay inside the tent, we will still discover something new because we have already seen the concept of the tent and it consists of five floors and in the pilot episode, we saw only two. Most likely in the next episodes, we will learn more about the rest of the floors in detail. Note, at the very top, we have a crow's nest. It's labeled as funny. I don't know why or why it's even needed when we have Kane and his assistant bubble flying around. In the tent, we have our own castle, apparently also for some interesting event, maybe also related to the adventures of Kane. And these are the flying figures and the bubble towers. And here we have the circus characters living in their rooms. As we already know, this circus is full of all sorts of weirdness. And this is a diagram of the tent from above. If you look to the right, you'll see the same castle. And if you look to the left, that's the dormitory. In my opinion, our characters will be met by a digital lake or a digital carnival. And it would be extremely interesting to see how our characters would behave in a completely different environment. As we don't know exactly what the connection between them is, as we remember that even Pomni in the Kaufmo situation ran away and didn't help Ragatha in her time of need, we will also learn more about the new character as the upcoming episode will not be about Pomni, Jax, or Kinger, but will most likely focus on a new character as Gooseworks' official Twitter account asked who the second episode will be about and she said, that it will be a character we haven't met yet and if you remember the recent Gooseworks post with the new characters and most likely the next episode will be one of these characters and let me remind you that this picture is exactly like the picture with us already known characters from the fleshed out episode so I have no doubt that it will be one of these characters also many viewers are unaware that the new episode is darker and more adult as Gooseworks was asked on Twitter about the show's target age group and she said that the second episode will be aimed at weird people in their 20s and it probably won't be aimed at kids in later episodes. This is a controversial statement though as I don't think Gooseworks and the Glitch team will want to lose a large number of viewers under 18 because it makes up a huge amount of all digital circus viewers. We even know that the episode won't be what we expect because Gooseworks literally confirmed it herself when she was asked to hint at the plot of episode 2. She said that the only hint she'll give us is that no one has come close to predicting what the second episode will be about. And I'll remind you that there are tons of YouTube channels right now trying to predict what will happen in the new episode. This just proves once again that we have absolutely no expectation of what is in store for us. Gooseworks was also asked what the next episode will be about and she said it will be about depression. This means that we will see our circus in completely different colors. There won't be happy faces. There won't be a happy ending like many viewers would want. We know that in the last episode, Pomni just just left Ragatha to die when they went to Kaufmo and Kaufmo grabbed and attacked Ragatha. But what did Pomni do? That's right, Pomni ran away. And when Kaufmo fell off the balcony, only then did Pomni go back for Ragatha and then said she was going to find Kane. But even after that, Pomni decided to go through the exit door and 
seriously leave Ragatha to die. And at the very end of the episode, when Ragatha finally comes to and we see how she approaches Pomni, we can notice the awkward body language, which makes me think that there might be some problems between Pomni and Ragatha, which will really show the depressing side of the show, which is what Gooseworks just mentioned and will be the next episode.